hi, I'm David Kies. I am the head of R for the Rest of Us, and I'm going to talk today about two packages that I have used in consulting work that I have done to make more beautiful and more effective reports. And these packages are page down and page report. And to start, let me tell a quick story. I was teaching some people to use R, and I showed them this um, output from an R Markdown document. And someone said, wait a second, I recognize that. That looks like articles that I've read. And I said, yeah. Uh, just start on this slide, Rachel. And the people I was training said, hey, wait a second, I recognize. And the people I was training said, hey, wait a second, I recognize that. That looks like a ton of articles I read in my undergrad. And I said, yeah. This is the default output that you get when you work in R Markdown and you knit to PDF. Now, it's not the most attractive thing, right? And it makes sense. Our users are not designers. Duh. And you might be wondering to yourself, well, okay, you know, great, like we're not designers, but there are great HTML templates. There, um, you know, you can knit to Word, use reference documents. There are other ways to make your reports attractive. And that's definitely true, but in many parts of the world, PDFs continue to be central. Um, I think about this scene from Office Space and think about kind of how common uh, this sentiment is for many of the end users who are consuming what the, the reports that we're putting out. So let's think about our options if we do need to make PDF-based reports. Option number one, you can use the default PDF format. Please don't, not the most attractive, and it's really not gonna help you communicate effectively. Number two is to use LaTeX. Now, many people know LaTeX, can use it well, um, don't have a problem with it. Unfortunately, I don't know how to use it, and I've only ever heard stories like these. Um, you can see these uh, love letters in tweets uh, to LaTeX from various users. So given this, if folks don't already use LaTeX, I typically don't suggest it as a way to go. Um, option number three, if you wanna make attractive PDFs, is to work with a designer. Now, for some organizations, this works out well, they have access to a designer, no problem. But for other organizations, it's not really a viable option. So in that case, is there another option? And I'm here to tell you, yes, there is. So let me take a step back and talk to you about how I got from here, from when I first started using R, thinking, okay, if I wanna to knit to PDF, it's gonna look like this, to here. And what you're seeing is an example of a report that I worked on recently uh, with a colleague named Thomas Vroilant, um, and we produce reports for uh, towns throughout the state of Connecticut on housing, demographic, social data. This project came about because the client came and said to me, hey, David, we need to produce over 170 reports. We need to produce one for each town as well as one for each county in Connecticut. That's a lot, right? Like, how is that going to happen? They were ready to rip their hair out. Now, they had heard of the idea of parameterized reporting, and they knew that R can be efficient, which parameterized reporting absolutely is. But the question for me was, can I make it an efficient process, but also a process that is beautiful? I want them to have a report um, that is going to communicate effectively. It's not just about making something beautiful just to make something beautiful. We want to make something attractive because that's going to get, in this case, the, the end users who are policymakers, developers, other folks who have limited time, uh, limited attention spans. We want them something that's going to grab them and make them pay attention to what we produce. So for this project, Thomas and I use the package called PageDown. Um, you can see here one um, template. This is obviously for making a CV. Um, but we used a temp another kind of basic template built in, which enables you um, to make page documents. Um, we made eight and a half by 11s, um, did all of the layout entirely from start to finish, did everything in R. 
So for the plots, the individual plots, we wrote R code. Here's an example of the code that we used. Um, you know, I'm not going to walk through all the specifics of it, but just so you know, it's you know nothing special. It's it's ggplot um, to make our plots. Then we use HTML and CSS for the layout, and that's how Page Down works. It uses HTML and CSS to do your layout. And I suggest this to a lot of people because while a lot of people don't know LaTeX, more and more with the, the, the rise of the web, you're seeing people who have at least a basic familiarity with HTML and CSS. So the way we did it was we used um, things like um, this here. So these three colons here show um, creating divs um, and you can see for example we're doing a third wide 33% wide column some content here 67% wide column with uh, with a, a plot here and so you can see that's our that's how we produce our HTML in the R markdown document and here is our CSS that leads to this um, this is what we end up with content text and plot laid out but here's the thing, it's actually quite complicated to produce this, and I know that because I actually tried teaching to others. This is what I expected it to look like. What it actually looked like was a lot of confused faces. And the thing is, I think I over or I overestimated people's um, knowledge of HTML and CSS. So the question then that Thomas and I were left with was, can we make something beautiful, but that's also easy to use? Um, we didn't want our users, who are our users, right, not web designers, to have to muck around in the HTML and CSS. And so we designed a package called Page Report. Page Report has three basic templates. So you can see the first template called the windmill template. It's based on an image that's on the, the cover you'll see in just a second. Um, actually, I think we changed it in that screenshot. There's the grid template. It's got that kind of grid right there. Uh, and then there's a hazelnuts template, which um, when it gets back to the beginning, you'll see it has a picture of a of hazelnuts. Um, now, these images are just kind of, we, we just chose some, right, to, to demonstrate. There you go, there are your hazelnuts. Um, but you are going to be able to customize this. And the way we set it up for people to be able to do the customizations is entirely within the YAML. We don't want people to have to mess around with HTML and CSS. So here's what kind of the default YAML looks like. Pretty similar to other documents you've used. The only things that are going to be different are a few lines. So you can see there is a logo line, image to dark, which I'll talk about in a second, logo to white, um, this line here um, is what we need to, to make a PDF document. And then this main color here will enable us to kind of choose the color that we're going to use for our document. Okay, so now I am in our studio and I have um, created a template using the page down package um, with some YAML here. I'm kind of using defaults. And let me actually bring over the rendered version so you can see sample report with an amazing subtitle. It's got that windmill image, uh, my name, date, logo here. And you can see it's using that blue. It's kind of the blue that I use for R for the rest of us uh, throughout um, everything. Um, so let's talk a little bit about how we can change this. Let's say we are working uh, for Coke. Um, so instead of using the R for the rest of us logo, we want to use Coke. So let me comment that line. Let me uncomment this line. I found a Coke logo. Um, so you can see we have logo here. Uh, I'm also going to use the front image option, which I have changed to an image, uh, you'll see in a second, of a polar bear. Um, and a couple of the things I am going to um, change. So the main color is an R for the rest of us uh, blue, but I'm going to change that, you'll see, to a red. The other thing I'm going to do is um, image to dark. Um, so sometimes what happens is it's a bit hard to read your text because the image is pretty vibrant. So um, in a second, you'll see what I'll do. I'll change image to dark to true, which will make it just uh, the text easier to read. Um, and I'm also going to do logo to white, 
which will convert this logo into a white version, or actually the Coke logo into a white version. Um, okay, so let me change this to true and that to true as well. I'm gonna knit this. Okay, so I am back. Um, I have rendered this. You can see I've got sample report with an amazing subtitle, my name. It's got that Coke logo, um, which I'll, I'll tell you that actually was red, but now it's white. Um, now we have the red um, instead of that blue. Um, and so you can see it's really easy to make some changes to make it reflect your branding with the kind of base, within the, the, the confines of a basic nice looking template. One last thing to highlight is that logo to white only works if your logo is an SVG. If it's not an SVG, if it's a PNG or a JPEG or something, it's not gonna work. All right, um, Rachel, I'll have you um, just um, splice, I mean, obviously splice this out. So to wrap up, um, let me leave you with this plea. Please don't make ugly PDF reports. If you have some HTML and CSS skills and you want 100% control, try the page down package. It's a great option to make the type of documents that I showed, uh, those Connecticut housing reports that can, you can completely customize. If you want a simple way to make beautiful PDF reports, try page report. Thank you, and here's uh, more information, uh, linked to PageDown, which is a great package, linked to the docs on PageReport, which also has a link to a blog post that walks through, as well as a video, um, walks through how to make changes. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me, david at rfortherestofus.com.